let me just share briefly while we do that uh, my experiences. So I started using uh, these materials at the beginning of last year, um, very much at the suggestion of John Lennox, actually, when he came out here and spoke for us. And I've found that um, they're very, very accessible for people who, as Richard has been saying, have really no biblical knowledge. And I'm now meeting with, um, I think it's seven or eight people reading through John's Gospel. And we're at various stages. And I can really appreciate what Richard was saying. Sometimes I feel, um, are they really going to want to meet once more with me? I am anxious every time we go through it. And again and again, I have to be kind of shown that it is God's Word doing its work its work because I can see at the end that they're really taken by what they read and they're very enthusiastic to meet again and so again I have to kind of be reassured oh that's great uh, we'll make another appointment so I can appreciate if you might be thinking you know do I really have uh, the wherewithal to take someone through these studies will they really want to meet with me and really it's just one step at a time just meet the first time um, offer them to do it again if they enjoyed it. And I think you'll be surprised. My experience has been they're actually very keen to meet a second time and a third time and a fourth time. So it is very exciting. I, as, as Kanishka said, when I'm meeting with these guys, just to see how gradually, gradually uh, the Word of God does its work. One guy that I'm meeting up with, a young guy in his early 30s, um, again, no church background, so many times he's said now, it's, it's just so great, just... You know, the points are all here. He doesn't have to be led to feel ignorant or uh, I'm not putting him on the spot. He can sort of see what it says as he goes through.